Hi everyone, so in this screencast I want to show off the attack visual effects and the guard visual effects that I added for better improving of the visual feedback and then attack feedback and you know so make the game look more prettier and then like it's easy to see what's going on in the game when you have these visual effects. Uh, it does come in a cost with the lower FPS but I think as of right now the game is still acceptable at frame rate but as we go on I think if we implement more visual effects particle effects all over the place we might need to optimize them or have a settings where if a lower devices can disable a couple of uh, settings but I think that functionality is still up in the air but that is something we do have a plan uh, somewhere in the future now um, so as usual, I'm just going to demonstrate how it looks on the game. So I'm just going to... Uh, I have my PC and my phone right now. So I'm just going to be playing from my PC. Um, and then we can see the muscle effects and then the sparkles when uh, the attack is going on. And then we can see like a force field uh, surrounding a bot when they're guarding. So let's just go ahead and get started. So I'm in the game right now, and then uh, just maybe like this. Okay, so I'm just gonna try to make it move kind of in the towards in the middle, so we can have a better fish and what's going on. Uh, the same with my phone as well. Whoops. Sorry, it's a bit hard because I only have two hands. Uh, so let's just try to move over here yeah so they're oh sorry yeah so they are completely against each other so you can see there so i just gonna go close up so we can see what's going on okay so i select that now i need to end my the phone turn so you can select the bot and then put it attacking so if i select here my gun have a muscle effect around here and then the enemy will have like a sparkle effect indicating that he's been attacked so let's see that so you see there's a muscle gun effect there first and then after that there's a sparkle effect that is uh, indicating that that is the bot that has been attacked because before without them you don't know who is attacking who is being attacked so that is basically the uh, attacking visual effects. Of course, uh, the next one here we have this cute little robot as a, a debugger as well. So, for example, if I attack too far, it says, Sire, the enemy target's too far or something. Then, if I move uh, close to him, and then you see I should be in range, but uh, there's a cover in the way, so I should not be able to attack. So see he say according to my calculation there's a foreign up there in the way so it's a nice thing to have like you know letting the player know okay you cannot attack and here's just why and the like it's kind of communicating with the player so just imagine this is in the game world it is like an operator or like ai like your own personal bb8 even though it's not bb8 but yeah so it, it's something to tell you stuff that is useful now that is for attacking visual effects and the feedback now I can demonstrate the tank. So the guard will work on either of the two and the tank. So show here. So it does the animation of the guard, and then you see there's a force field here, rotating and then kind of breathing, like bigger and smaller. So like it's kind of like a force field indicating that you are guarding. Um, and then this is will come off if you get attacked or like you just go to attack mode, just out of the guard mode and stuff like that. Now. The same can be said for the troop. So let's see here. Select that and then guard. See. Uh, the same effect plays there. So it's easier to know which bot is guarding and then which bot is like, you know, just a normal stance or whatever it is. And now that we covered how it looks on the game, the <laughs> shaky demos between the phones and the facey. Now we can go into the script and, well, we can go into Unity and see what has been changed. So 
there is combination of the scripts and of obviously to play all of those effects and stuff. But mostly things are done with the special effects. So uh, we add in well, I add in in the prefab for allied uh, player and a tank troop. So you just go closer here. Uh, for some reason, you need to just preset them very far away. So you can see here there's attack sp sparks. So uh, it's currently scaled a bit small, but that is because here is local. So that's why in the game it's going to be a bit bigger. But I think in the troop here should have. Yeah. So you can see that attack sparks is basically a particle effect that just a slightly long shape. So, sorry, a slightly rate of. Uh, let's see, velocity over lifetime. No, uh, render. So like have a speed scale up so it's kind of flat there just uh, disable the gizmo so you can show that better uh, see again there you go so so it does gonna have like an effect of like you know uh, it getting damage and then like the, the bullet scrapping the metals there goes like the sparks effects now uh, this is all the settings and um, uh, I'm not really interested on in talking so basically it's just it doesn't looping so it's just one time and then uh, if the special thing is just like half a speed scale so if we change this a little slightly um, a bit so it will play around with the how long how how long the special effect is but um, we found uh, I found that 0 0.09 is the perfect uh, size for that and then size over lifetime basically says that you know uh, it started big and then after that it just slowly decreasing and then after that it just disappear uh, emission there's nothing interesting in it it's just the same velocity of a lifetime so basically you can start a bit fast because they are clumping together and then like, after that it just kind of slow slows down so that is the attack sparks uh, also another thing is maybe true to tank is the best way to see that is the uh muscle uh muscle gun effect so let me if i can no that is a chest bone uh neck bone no uh shoulder bone right elbow elbow the gun here and then i attach the gun a muscle gun effect so you can see it's pretty fast like super fast compared to the spark and then the same thing with the spark i just have this super light so if you compare that it's like 0 0.1 instead of like 0 0.009 so basically it's like really long really fast and then if you see the shape here so the shape's angle is 70 so it's almost like you know it's really open it's almost like it's not it's not focused on something it's just open because it's a sp it's a muscle gun so like it's kind of like if you can see like it's someone like using a high five or something like that and then uh you can see the emission is like uh, using a randoms, so they have infinite cycles and in 20. So that's why it's not using like individuals and like really, really far away, but it's like clumping together and stuff like that. Now that is the uh, the muscle gun, and then the last one is the guard effect. So you can see the guard effect is slightly different than the other one. So it's looping. And then duration is super long, and then I have this color over lifetime, which is you can see if it's, you see, uh, I'm playing just on the alpha side. So if it's stretches on the maximum scale, it will um, kind of fade away. When it's concentrated in a smaller scale, it feels like more concentrated and stuff. Like that. It just get a nice effect on it. Size over lifetime, basically this graph here on the right. So you can see uh, it goes big small big small big small and goes on and then the last one is rotation over lifetime which is basically just rotate under the y direction 360 so that will uh, rotate now if we just do this plainly it will rotate very fast so what we would do is instead of smooth and speed one we set the small uh, smooth and speed into 0 0.2 so it's it's doing the same thing but it's just super slow Um. The next thing, emission, we only won one particle. So this is this big thing is just one particle, single particle that is just rotating and then doesn't really die, it just do a loop. So 
it's very different with the other ones where the other ones are as many particles and then die over time and then but this one is just one big thing rotating and then uh, kind of do a lot of stuff like that so that is the effects that i made for the guard and the attacking system now if we go to the script and uh, let's see uh bot controller so basically up here i have all of this uh particle system that we need so all of these three is set to be set on the editor so if we go back again uh through the resources get one of the tang you see all of them are uh, attached or assigned on the editor now and then we can go for a same example attack here on the animation because the muscle gun has to have uh, perfect timing with the uh, perfect time with the animation so it has to be like when he's actually pointing the gun so each of the animation will have different times of yield so if for example it's shooting and then I would wait for 32 uh, 0 0.32 instead of the full 1.12 and then wait for 0.8 seconds then play the muscle effect so from from the full animation wait for 0 0.8 seconds and then do the muscle effects and then after that you can do the finish which is that will uh, say it's the full 1.12 uh, seconds and then after that you can set the boolean into false the same with guarding well guarding doesn't really do a wait time because we need to pause the guard animation as well so when we do the guard mode which is guard mode is true play the guard effect and then just get out from the i animator so this thing will never get called so that's why the animation is paused but if the animation call again or whatever we start the golf mode into false which is like this got most false and then call the animation again let's say it will go through the animation and says oh the guard mode is false then i do stop guard effect which is basically an rpc of playing the guard effect stop and then it will just set the animator into false, which is go to back to idle mode. Now, if you're wondering all of these RPC, so basically all of these RPC are doing almost the same thing. It's just playing different mos, uh, different particle effects. Maybe there's a better way to do this. Maybe it's just like a one unified function. But um, at the moment, uh, it works uh, this way. So it's off pawn RPC would know which. Uh, uh, effects we play and then that way the effect will be seen across the player so ba that's basically how the muscle effects and the guard uh, played and then also the last one is the sparks is on the damage so basically if you will get uh, any type of damage greater than zero because remember if we set uh, less than zero it will be healing but if it's more than zero, just play the, the spark effect. Uh, we don't need an RPC for this because start damage is already RPC. So basically this is inside an RPC function. So it will get called for uh, both players. And then the both player will know which one will play the sparks effect. So that's basically the script and the particle effects that I made for the um, all of the, uh, the attack and the guard. So it's added some spice into the game, so it's not as plain as before, and like it does uh, kind of attract attention. But uh, there's obviously a lot of things that could be improved and stuff like that. But um, yeah, so all of uh, that's it. Um, I hope you enjoy. See you. Bye bye.